Okay, in this video, as you can see, we are going to determine the equation of a line in the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. And we're going to do that from being given the slope of the line and a point through which the line passes. Okay, so this, we're going to use a slope and a point, and we're going to get the equation of the line y equals mx plus b for that slope and that point. Okay, I'm going to try and go through three examples in this video. We'll do the first one a little bit slower, then we'll speed it up a little bit. So we're going to determine the equation of a line in the slope-intercept form that goes through the point 1, 6 and has a slope of minus 2. Now, you'll know the slope-intercept form. Oh, actually, what I'd like to do first is write down the two things I've been given. The slope, m equals the slope. m is the symbol for the slope, so we have m equals minus 2. And we have the point equals 1, 6. Okay, now the equation we're going to use is y equals mx plus b, because that's the equation of the line in the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. y equals the slope times x plus b. m is the slope. b is the y-intercept. So in order to write the equation for a line, we need to have a slope and an intercept. You can see we've been given the slope. The slope is minus 2, so we don't have to figure out what the slope is. But we don't know what b is, so we have to figure out what b is. We have to calculate b. And we're going to use this equation. It has four things in it, y equals m, x, and b. We know three, m and an x and a y. So we can plug the values in and simply solve for b. Okay, so let's just do that. We know that y, oh, we need a b, that's right, I said that. We know that y equals m. So this is 6 is y, m is minus 2, and it's mx, or it's m times x, and x is 1. So we have 6 equals minus 2 times 1 plus b. All right? So we just took these three numbers and plugged them into this equation, and now we're going to solve for b. So we can simplify first because 6 equals, and we have minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and we have plus b. Okay, I'm just simplifying the equation now to solve for b. Now we have b plus minus 2. So in order to move the minus 2 to the other side, we're going to add the opposite, which is plus 2. And that simply means that 6 plus 2 is 8, and minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So all we have is b left over on the right-hand side. That means that b is equal to 8. Okay, I just switched them around because usually we put b equals 8. We don't put 8 equals b. So now we, that's it. Really, we can write the equation now because we have m. We need an m, and we need a b. We have the m, we have the b. So the equation of a line that has a slope of minus 2 and goes to the point 1, 6 is simply y equals minus 2, because that's the slope we were given, minus 2 times x plus the intercept that we calculated, the y-intercept we calculated, which is 8. And that's the equation of a line that goes through minus, no, has a slope of minus 2 and goes to the point 1, 6. Okay, so let's do the next one. So we're going to do two more. Uh, this one is the same thing. We have this point of 3 minus and minus 5 and the slope of 7 thirds. So I put down the slope equals 7 thirds. The point is 3 minus 5. Get out our equation. We, we, we need a b. We have an m. We need a b. We're going to calculate b. We're going to plug the values in. y is equal to minus 5 equals the slope, which is 7 thirds, times x x is 3, that's this 3, here's y, x, and here's the slope. Plug the values in, plus b. Now we're going to simplify. On the left-hand side, we just have minus 5. Now this is 7 thirds times 3, which you can do in your calculator in various ways. But maybe the easiest thing to notice is this is a 3 and this is a 3, so they cancel. You're left with 7. Or you can see 7 times 3 is 21. 21 divided by 3 is 7, plus b. Now we have this 7 plus b. We want to move the 7 to the other side. We're simply going to subtract, add the opposite, I'd like to say. So that means subtract 7 from both sides. We get b is minus 12. Okay? So now we can write the equation for the line because we know where the slope is. We know what the slope is. We also know where it is. It's right there. And we know where b is. It's right there. And b is minus 12. So that means it's y equals mx plus b. y equals m is 7 thirds. x plus b is minus 12, so we put down minus 12, you could put plus minus 12, but just put minus 12, and that's the equation of the line that has a slope of 7 thirds and goes to the point 3 minus 5. Okay, one more. Now we have the slope is 1 half, and the point is minus 2, 4. Once again, we have our equation. We know, an, we know m, 
we have to find B because in order to get the equation for the line, we have to have an M and a B. So we're going to calculate B. We're going to do the same thing. Y is 4 equals 1 half. The slope is 1 half, which we were given. We're going to plug the X value in is minus 2 plus B. And that means we have 4 equals, now this is 1 half times minus 2. 1 half times minus 2 is minus 1 plus B. Add the opposite, which is plus 1, and we get that B is equal to 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0, and that means B equals 5. And then we're going to write down the equation of the line with M and our B. And we're given B, we calculated Y equals 1 half X plus 5. Okay, there you go. There's three examples, and I think that's pretty straightforward. You're given M, you just have to calculate B. And there you go. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following three things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Uh, please give me a thumbs up for this video, and leave a nice positive comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.